Hey everybody, I'm Shane Ballou, and I want to tell you about a really fun summertime strategy that can supplement what you're already doing. Maybe you're fishing offshore, maybe you're flipping bushes. This little pattern can put some good fish in the boat for you throughout the day. And it involves the original forward-facing sonar. Talking about your two eyes, good pair of sunglasses, and oh yeah, you're gonna need a swim jig and about two foot of water. And it might be some of the best bites you get all summer long. Golly. Okay, to make this pattern work, I'm looking for three things. I'm looking for really flat, slow tapering banks that look like they'd be better in April than August. I'm also looking for scattered bushes and preferably green bushes, because I think those green bushes attract the third and most important element, and that's bluegill. So I'm just gonna pull up into these little pockets and flats throughout the course of the day. I'm just gonna check to see if I can see those bluegill in and around the bushes. And if there's a good population of bluegill, I feel like there's gonna be a high likelihood of a, a group of bass moving in at some point through the day and wrecking shop. And I just wanna time it to where I get there about the same time those bass do. Now the bass don't stay up there very long. It might be a 30 minute window, it might be an hour or two, but what you'll notice is they get kind of on a schedule. So if you catch them at two or three o'clock on the first day, you wanna make sure you're in that same area about that same time frame on the next day. Now my tackle setup is gonna consist of a 3 8 ounce Stanley Swim Max Swim Jig. That has a really good hook in it, a really strong weed guard. I'm gonna pair that with a Yamamoto Paddle Tail Zocco. And that Zocco is just a really dense plastic. I can throw it a long way and it also has a great swimming motion. Now, as you might expect, I'm gonna pick a lot of bluegill patterns, watermelon and pumpkin seed, but I also catch a lot of them on white, even though it's a bluegill bite. Now for the line, you can go braid or fluorocarbon, either one. And for me, I just personally like the handling characteristics of fluorocarbon anytime I'm around wood cover. So I'm gonna go pretty heavy. I want 15, 17, maybe 20 pound, either Seaguar Tatsu or Seaguar Abrasex. Now both of those are really premium fluorocarbons and they have excellent abrasion resistance for obvious reasons around the bushes. But Tatsu in particular is just a really soft, uh, low memory line. And that's not always the case with those heavier test weights. Uh, but Tatsu gives you the opportunity to spool it on uh, at the first of the summer and you can still be fishing that line late in the summer. Now, if you're a braid fan, you can definitely go 30 to 50 pound Seaguar Smackdown. That's a really smooth eight count braid. It comes through the line guides really quiet. Uh, and I would go stealth gray just to mute that line color in the water. Okay, so the technique for catching these shallow bass is pretty technical. So you might wanna pay attention. You're gonna make a long cast up near the bushes. And you're just gonna reel it back to the boat. Yeah, there's nothing special about it. You're just trying to cover water. And like I say, it's a timing thing. So if anything, I'm gonna keep my rod tip pretty high in the water. I want that bait just under the surface. I'm, I'm gonna keep a pretty fast retrieve with my reel handles. And I want those bass to think that there's a squirter trying to get off the flat. And what you'll find is those bass will absolutely smoke that swim jig. And whenever you catch a four or five pounder in two foot of water, they got no place to go but sideways. Well, it's what we in Texas call a rodeo. Holy cow. Ha, ha, ha.